Hello everybody, welcome back for another day of Daily Directed Draws. Today I was inspired by the sunshine and the beautiful weather we've been having. And since it's Tuesday, we're going to do Tulip Tuesday today. So go ahead and grab a pencil and paper and whatever else you may need and we will get started. Let's start with this flower on this side first. So what you're going to do is you're going to start at the bottom of your paper and just do a line up. And then we're going to go right into that petal and we're just going to go up to a point and then back down and around and then bring it down to the bottom of the paper to meet up with the stem. Now we're going to draw this one to look like it's slightly behind the one we just drew. So you're going to go up to a point, back down, and around. And then just a line that kind of follows the shape of the outside of what you just drew into both of those. Now we're going to keep going with the stem. So a line up, you can add a slight curve to it. And then do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and now we're going to get to draw the petals to make this flower look like it has already bloomed. So you're going to go ahead and do a curved line. Not fully to a point, because you're going to do a little dip. And down. And then for the rest of this flower, it's just going to be different lines because not everyone's is going to look alike but just drawing different line shapes to get the flowers you can do some wavy I'm going to go ahead and just add some of those line designs to just help see and form more of the flower shape. Alright, and now we're going to do the second flower. So we're going to start again at the bottom for our stem, and this time we're going to go up pretty high, decide where you want your second flower to start. And then we're going to bring that on the other side back down following the same slope you did with the one side. And then curve around to a point, back down and around with the line in the middle that follows the same shape as the outline. And now for this one, this one has not quite blossomed yet. Um, bloomed yet so we're gonna go ahead and draw a curve and then bring a line straight up to a point back down and around and then this one I'm gonna do a diagonal line up to a point then curve it down and around with a little curve there so today's was a quicker drawing but that's all it is for the drawing portion and now you get to be creative with how you color it. You can choose to play with some shading to help give your flowers some more dimension as well as your stem and your leaves. I use two different colored greens here. You can choose what color your tulips will be. Um, maybe you have some in your garden that you can base yours off of or maybe you saw some somewhere on a walk. But go ahead and create your tulips and color them how you would like. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. Ely's in her favorite spot of the house right now, looking out the window, soaking in some sunshine. So she's not here to say goodbye, but thank you for joining us for another day of drawing. I'm excited to see your tulips, and I hope you can hang them somewhere in your house that brings some sunshine and just some bright colors somewhere into a room. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.